Hi everyone, welcome to the weekly vlog. It's Andrea. It is actually Monday evening, everybody's in bed. The reason I didn't vlog earlier was because Jennifer didn't want to go in there. She, she wasn't feeling very well, she had a slight temperature, so I kept her off and um, kept an eye on her all day. She's, I think she's fine. She seems fine, her temperature's gone down and, and she says she feels better and she ate something this afternoon. She didn't want breakfast this morning, she ate hardly any lunch, but tea, she was much better. I've now had my hairbrush because she decided to hide it the other day. I'm sure she's hid the charger for my other camera because I can't find it. Which means I could be filming everything on this thing. Luckily I've got plenty of memory cards so it's not a problem. So it's actually um, evening. Every, like I said, everybody's in bed. Jennifer's sleep pool's just gone up. And I am going to be filming um, my haul video, uh, my colour, completed colour and pages video and a flip through. Uh, before heading up to watch some videos and go to bed, I've got a cup of tea here ready. I'm gonna get that done, so I'll uh, I'll see you in a bit afterwards. But yeah, it's been a hell of a day with her being not. She wants herself normally when she's with me, she's all over me, she's jumping around, she wants to play. She just wanted her lie in bed and watch TV and doze. So she wasn't at her 100%, she was very subdued for her. So uh, as the evening went on, she started getting more herself, so I'm pleased with that. I also sorted out my Spotify account. We've got a, a, a duo account, a couple's account, so we pay more than a single account, but not as much as two singles account, if that makes any sense. So I can listen to uh, the podcasts I want to listen to. There's a few. Um, I put three videos up on the 1st of March, which was obviously a weekly vlog. I put up a flip through, and I put up a book video of the books I bought in... Uh, February now. I don't think there'll be book hauls every month, but um, yeah, there will be wrap ups and reviews, so that's cool. Anyway, I better get on with this filming so I can get to bed because I will be working tomorrow. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I've done all my filming. I'm upstairs now watching a few videos, but I'm going to head off to bed, turn the lights off, put all my books away apart from a few jades I might pulled down, four or five that I thought I might want to colour in. I've got two that I'm going to colour in this month. Pick the pictures off even started one, and the other's going back up for the time being. Dinosaurs is one of them, but I might just pull that down and, and just mark, do some marker pictures in there just for Jennifer's room. Um, I'm watching Lisa's colouring corner. I found a book I want. I went and watered it, so I shouldn't do that. But hey, I don't plan on buying much this month. I am getting a bonus at the end of March, so I will save half of it and spend half of it. That's what I normally do. Um, I wanted to get some more markers and I was thinking about getting the Yahoo Hoos um, and the rest of it I'll spend possibly on a few books. But I've got a ton of books to get through so I want to really keep it down. And the book I've ordered has got 300 mandalas in it. But that's a book I just keep by my bed and just pull it out and hit it with markers yeah, and gel pens whenever, them whenever them I feel like it. Obsessed. So just going to put these, uh, the ones that didn't make the grade for now uh, from Jade Summer. Oh, they will be done. Um, I picked Gothic Tattoos and Fantasy because there's um, a leprechaun one in there. I like to do one, that sort of thing for St. Patrick's Day. should do get some St. David's Day ones, but obviously St. David's Day is now over. Um, and so anime didn't make it, stuffed animals didn't make it, and dinosaurs didn't make it at the moment, but they'll be on the top, so you never know. I didn't colour in half because I wanted to last month, but I did pull some off of the, the shelf, and I did obviously make sure I coloured in some of the new ones. My big project for the month is going to be Fragile World by Kirby Rosanne's, so anyway. So that's kind of I'm going to head off to bed now, so I'll see you in the so morning. Well, Bye, everyone. Coloring. Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, the 2nd of March, and Jennifer's at nursery. She is fine, so I'm really relieved. She's a lot better today, a lot happier. Um, I'm just setting up to start work, just waiting now for the systems to load. And I'll uh, crack on with my day. Um, then I'll pick her up and we'll see what happens this afternoon. As you know, I did my filming yesterday. I've had some lovely comments on all my videos. So thanks so much for every, to everybody that's commented, whether it's on the most recent weekly vlog, on the new booktube video, and even on an old video. I love getting comments, even if they're on, on ones I put up two or three years ago, I will still answer them if I, if I see them. Sometimes they don't always show up and I have to go trawling for them. But if they show up, I will look at them and I will either heart them or answer them. But they all are all very, very much appreciated, so thank you. Um, so I'm going to crack on. I'm going to watch a bit of Steve Donahue as well this morning. 
and uh, yeah I'm feeling good I finished my first book for March which was the Titanic conspiracy so that's good I've got to put that on my Goodreads in a minute um, probably not going to read as much this month it'll calm down now and I'll I've got a lot I want to read though I'm I want to hit the Stephen King in a minute, in a, not, not in a minute, but today. Start reading that today. And also one of the two Jack the Ripper books I, I got last month. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good at the moment. Yeah, I've got to work, don't want to do that, but then who does? It's just life. Anyway, I will see you when I finish. Hey, everyone, it's, it's Tuesday night and I've come up to my bedroom. Spare bedroom. I'm having a bit of an anxiety attack. Um, it happens every now and again. Jennifer's been climbing all over me and it makes it hard for me to breathe and then I start panicking. Uh, she should be in bed because it's uh, nearly 8 o'clock. But she says her room is too scary and she wants to watch the football. So Paul's going to be watching the Man City match. As, uh, I don't mind that. And I, I, I said, well, OK, I'll sit with you. But then she came down and, I, and she'll just be climbing all over me and I can't cope with that when I'm feeling like this. So... I said she can watch it for 15 minutes and then I'm going to go and get her and put her to bed and I'll sit with Paul for a bit. So today I got a little tripod. This is for my phone so I can do some filming on my phone while I try and find my battery charger. I can use it for this camera and my other one as well. And it's only a small one. Mostly I want to use it for, for booktube. So I've got my um, book... Uh, what I read in February too. Right. Uh, oh God, excuse me. Um, to film, so I'll be trying that on there. Probably use this camera because it will need editing in at the moment. But yeah, so I'm going to put on some some YouTube for five ten minutes, and then I'm going to uh, make sure Jennifer goes to bed. I don't know why your room's suddenly scary tonight, but that's kids in it, you know. So the bed is scary. It's because she wants to sleep anyway, me, and I, I can't. I just can't do it. Anyway, I'll talk to you in a bit. I'm just going to go and find something. It's probably a bit Steve Donahue. I'm working my way through his videos at the moment. Good morning. It's Wednesday. Um, I'm up. I feel absolutely shattered. I feel so drained today. I just want to sleep. I slept really well. I, I, I don't know what it is. I think it's it's like everything. The pandemic, um, lockdown. It, it, is, it is slowly getting to me. It's probably slower than most people because I'm quite happy to be in the house on my own. But yeah, it is starting to get to me. Not be able to do things. My hair is getting really long. I want it cut. I'm not worried about having it coloured. I just want it cut. I want to be able to go to the shops and have a look around the clothes and the charity shops and the records and things like that. I want to be able to go to the pub and have a drink. I want to be able to go out and have a meal. Um, like I said, I'm not one that gets better, but I'm feeling absolutely exhausted both mentally and physically. Physical is fine, I can deal with that, that's just normal, but I could just sleep, I'd go to sleep and sleep all day, to the point I'm thinking of booking a day off just so I can do that, which is ridiculous, it's a waste of a day's holiday, but I think I need it, so I'm going to have to look at the road to one then. I'm not going to have to if I can get Jennifer to nursery. I'm dreading it. It's ridiculous. She, she just kicks off so big. Ah, oh, I feel fine. I, I, you know, I, I don't. It is what it is, and I'm just hoping when it comes to an end. There are days when you think, yes, we're getting there. And there are days when you think it's never going to end. But I just feel so drained. We'll see. I probably feel better as the day goes on. I'm not a morning person. I'll be honest. I don't like getting up in the morning. It takes me ages to get going. Anyway. I'm going to go and get dressed, get Jennifer up, and I'll see you later. Jennifer! Hello! We're back. Jennifer's home. She had a lovely fine time at nursery, didn't you, jumping in the muddy puddles? No. No. No? What were you doing? I do it. No, oh, she's got the TV on in the background. She loves the TV. Uh, so yeah, I finished work, picked up Jennifer, because I'm so tired. I booked tomorrow off. I had a one-to-one -one with my manager and I suggested a day off. He said, that's fine. And I had a look and it was another one off tomorrow. And it's literally for me to come home and sleep because I feel exhausted. It's just thing. But I did get this today. This is absolutely huge. It's like the size of an old yellow pages. It's not as tall, but it's certainly thick. I've seen this on a few channels so I got it. So Sally Berry is 300 mandalas. So I am going to leave this one by my bed for when I just feel like... Uh, Colouring mandalas in bed. I think that'll be fun. Different pens and markers and 
glitter gel pens, normal gel pens, metallic, it's going to be fun. Oof, got black back in, it's fine, I'm going to have a quick look at it now. See how long it takes me to do 300 mandalas. I've been colouring in Jade Summers, beautiful pattern colour by number, I've done two and a half this month already because they're just easy to do. Yeah, so I've got this one. It was about 10, 11 quid, but it's, got, it's gonna last a while. And they look good. So yeah, so we're just gonna chill out, watch some uh, children's TV. Oh, and I'm gonna probably chill out and uh, read because I can't stand children's TV. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna look through this first. I will see you in a bit. Okay guys, so. Jennifer's asleep in bed. I've been watching the first series of Doctor Who on BBC iPlayer with Christopher Eccleston. I'm very tired, so I've come up to bed to just chill out, read a bit, do a bit colouring. Maybe watch a bit of YouTube before I go to sleep, but I'm not going to be up long. I'm really tired. I said, book tomorrow off so I can just sleep because it's cold. I'm feeling run down. I've got a cold and I'm just exhausted, so I just need to to rest and hopefully then I can get back to doing other things like eBay and um, more more videos. Um, I want to make a, my wrap up video for booktube. I have got a tripod I can use and so uh, that one I bought the other day I will set that up tomorrow, I'll probably try and do it tomorrow at some point. So. I'm gonna colour in my new big mandala book because I kind of like it so I'll see you very soon. Hey everyone, it is Thursday afternoon. As I advised, I took the morning off and I've been asleep all morning. As you can see, there's somebody next to me with an egg. Do you want me to open it? My egg. You want to open it? <laughs> uh, so the plan for this afternoon is to play with Jennifer, obviously. She wants me to open her egg. I'll be back. It will melt because it's in your hands. It too melt. Mm-hmm. It's a little soggy. Ugh. Yeah, so the plan for today is obviously play with Jennifer and have tea. I'm going to film my booktube wrap up, so hopefully by the time you see this, you'll have seen that. It's going to be long. I won't talk, because some of them are box sets, I'll just uh, give a basic overview. And then I've got edits together, and I'll probably bring the laptop off and do that up here after I've filmed it. I've also got to find my battery charger for the other camera. I have no idea where it is, I'm on the last one. I'll have a look and see what's in there. It's, it's, it's going to be Paw Patrol, isn't it? Yeah. We got rubble. It's a pencil topper. She's got thousands of these. Oh, I like the erasers. They're the best ones. Here you are. Um, Here's rubble. So, yeah. So, that's the plan. I might show you. Um, the double. The rubble on the double. Um, you alright? You had fun at nursery, didn't you? Um, so, Paul's got a meeting. So we've come upstairs to watch TV because... Uh, tired, Rubble. Tired? Rubble tired, is he? Oh. Is he going to go to sleep? Are you going to go to sleep? No? Okay. So, yeah, we'll just uh, watch some TV up here while Paul has his meeting. BB Man. As you can hear, she wants to watch BB Man. What's it called, really? Is it T-Rex Ranch? No. Yeah. T-Rex Ranch. So we're going to watch T-Rex Ranch for a bit. And I'll, I'll see you in a bit, see what's going on. Hey, it's uh, Thursday evening and I'm going to watch some Doctor Who. Jennifer and Paul are playing Pody. Play-Doh. Should we go and have a look? Mm. Are you making Pody food for the dinos? Yeah. Oh, she's feeding her dinosaur. Mm. Are you making food for the dinosaurs yeah, as well? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm eating food really? for the dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> she got her Play-Doh stuff out. Let's do it. That's so sweet, seeing you two play together. Are you leaving a little pody trail? <laughs> food. It's their food. Ah, oh, well, I hope they enjoy it. Hi, everybody. It is Friday, and Jennifer's home now. I got to vlog this morning, so she's eating a chocolate egg, which was a poor Patrol one. We got rubble again. Exactly the same. We don't mind, do we? And so, watching some Play-Doh videos now. 
So yeah, we're back at home. It is the weekend. I had some good news this morning. Uh, the surgery phoned me and asked me if I wanted to book my COVID vaccine injection, which of course I did. And so I'll be having it next week. So I'm very, very pleased uh, about that. My mum's got hers Monday and mine's on Tuesday. So, and my dad's second dose is booked for April the 8th. So fantastic. I'll keep you posted on how I feel next week when we do the weekly vlog and let you know how it went and all that good stuff. Um, so I am be having mine next week. So I jumped her, I practically bit her hand off when she offered it to me. <laughs> so I'm very happy to be able to finally get that. It, it, although there's a long way to go, there's a lot of people that still need vaccinating. The fact they've got to me makes me feel a bit more hopeful that they are getting there. So I thought I wasn't going to get it till May. So I'm really pleased. April, May, I thought. So they're obviously doing extremely well. So I'll let you know how I feel after that in next week's vlog. So I'm really happy and we're going to chill out and watch some TV. You want what? You didn't want milk. I asked you if you wanted milk. You said no, you just wanted water and there's water up here. What's that? Oh, in a minute. In a minute, I'll sort you out. So anyway, we're going to go and watch some TV now and I'll see you a bit later. I'm so relieved. I've been buzzing since they called. Hi everybody, it is Saturday. Yes, I didn't wrap up the vlog last night. I know, I was just busy doing chilling stuff. But it's Saturday, we're about to go out, it's a lovely day. Uh, we're going to check on Paul's mum because she's on her own, make sure she's alright. Have a wander around, pop to the shop. Not, it's nothing exciting really, but yeah. Jennifer's fine, she got up at 20 to 8, which isn't too bad to be fair. So yeah, we're going to pop down and see what's going on. See how everybody is. It's Saturday. It's Saturday night and it's the big yeah, fat quiz of the eighties. Um, no, uh, Jennifer's in bed, hopefully asleep. Hopefully I'm Doctor Who hasn't terrified her because you wanted to watch that this evening. Got a beer? Ready for, ready for the start of the quiz. I've heard the story. This is fun. End of the first round. We are at 32 out of 108. So that's not bad. I'll see you after this because we're playing music now. End of two, we're in 34th place, but he's going straight into the next round. That was good fun. He had a laugh. We won't get no bonus points, we never do, but hey, it'll be a laugh. Terrible, terrible round. We were terrible. We're, we've gone down to 51st place. But, saying that, there are 108 teams playing, so we're above halfway. So I'm not going to complain. And they've been really hard questions. So, this one is, is a laugh. We're having a laugh. We're having a beer. End of the quiz. That was fun. That was a better round for us. We got more right that time, didn't we? Round three was horrible, but that was brilliant. Oh, we don't fancy a big fat 90s quiz. Don't know none of the music. Maybe we'll do it. You want to do it? We might do it. We could do it for a laugh next week, can't we? Yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll do the 90s one next Saturday. We're just waiting for the score, so it won't be long. Okay, so we finished at 37, so we went back up. So should we do the great big fat quiz of the 90s next week? We're thinking we might. We do enjoy these, have a few beers each and a laugh. I get extremely hot and bothered, as you can see. But that's going to be about it for now. It's time for bed, I think. That was great. Really enjoyed that, and I love the 80s. I want us to 80s music now. It's Sunday morning, everybody. I'm going to go shopping in a bit. Jennifer's already been out for a walk with Daddy because she decided to get me up at 6 o'clock. So I went back to bed when he got up and they went for a walk and fed the ducks. <laughs> Didn't you? Yeah. And she's wearing a lovely Minnie Mouse uh, tracksuit with a hood. Can you show everybody? Let me see. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Anyway. So I'm going to go downstairs now, brush my hair. Brush her hair. And we're going to go shopping. Because we like shopping, don't we? Mm. Put the tissue down. No. What have you got there? Oh, it's a wet wipe, is it? It's a wet wipe. No, don't wipe it. I'm talking to it, honestly. Wipe She's terrible. It. Anyway, I will see you in a bit. Okay, guys, it's Sunday night, and yes, I haven't vlogged very much. Um, did the shopping. It was fun, kind of. Um, just been pottering around. Raph, Jennifer, she's up in bed nice and sound asleep. I'll go and check on her a bit. She never wants a, a warm blanket on her when she goes to sleep, so I put one on when I go up. And then she'll probably just uh, 
Okay, I'll, you know, pull it off. Got some cucumber, trying to get some of this puffy in my eyes. I find that work sometimes. I have a bath tomorrow night, soak in the tub, and uh, I get rid of this baggy stuff. Ugh, it's horrible. But yeah, it's all good. Feeling okay. I haven't coloured at all, so I've had a day off. Watching uh, Steve Donahue. Um, I watched I Buy Old Records as well and I watched Hollywood Graveyard which was really good because he went to Westwood again which is where Marilyn's buried because uh, there's so many stars buried there that uh, you can't do it all in one video You'd, it'd be like three four hours long so I'm gonna watch this and I'm going upstairs to chill out for a bit and I'm gonna get this upload well not uploading but edited together because of course we get to start it all again tomorrow don't we because it's another day and another week and next week of course is the Covid jab so I don't know which one I'm having I'm thinking I'm thinking it was probably going to be AstraZeneca just because it's at the surgery rather than at a mass vaccination centre. So that means it's got to be um, something that they can store easily and it's, it's not a big place where I go in. So I'm assuming it is actually going to be AstraZeneca. So I will let you know how I get on. So I'm just uh, up in the laptop ready to uh, put the... Um, oh, the cable's out. Where's the cable? I know it's ch probably charged, but... Make sure it's okay because I've already had to place it once. There we go. So yeah, just going to sit and enjoy this video and then I'm going to go upstairs and, and watch upstairs and uh, chill out. And I'll see you uh, in the next week. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Tuesday to see how it goes. Like I said, my mum's having news Monday and I'll, I'll let you know how I'm feeling um, straight away after I've had it and then a bit later on in the day and the next day and so on. And I'm hoping I'm going to be okay. My dad, nothing at all. No side effects, so that's cool. So fingers crossed. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.